This is D, and let's stress for life. That's what's up. Hello, everybody. I want you to realize that it's coming. A disaster of some sort. And many people have, have the notion that things are getting better. I want to tell you, my brother, I want to tell you, my sister, it's getting worse. These natural disasters are tearing things up. And it's time for you to get ready. And not only is it time for you to get yourself ready, but it's also time to help. There are two reasons that you need to help. Number one, so that you don't lose that compassionate edge. It is so easy in this day and age for individuals to become more and more and more calloused. Just take a look at the news for about two or three minutes and you can't help but see that. Another reason why you need to help is that you may be the next person who's lost everything. It's time for you to help. We at De-Stress Method deal with disaster in three ways. Number one, getting ready for. Number two, responding to. And number three, recovering from. We're actually going to talk about getting ready for today, which also helps with the recovering from. And how we're going to do that is we are going to deal with a hygiene kit or hygiene-ish, hygiene-like kit. When I passed by Big Lots, all I could think of were three things that were crucial as we prepare pair items for individuals. Number one, look for deals. There are plenty of deals in stores like Big Lots. Look for those deals. Added to that, ask for deals another thing buy in bulk because after you buy in bulk you can break the items down when you're dealing with disaster recovery you're just doing it for a brief amount of time maybe no more than two weeks but let's go on and start um, putting our disaster box together one thing is a pencil one reason why you want to use a pencil is because a pencil doesn't dry up. Another thing that you want to put in your hygiene-ish box is you want to put something that can help you try to figure things out. Because when you get in times of dis disaster or, or distress, sometimes the brain goes out the window. You go back to a very much lower level of functioning. Uh, a 19-year-old can go back to the level of or the functioning of a 9-year-old. And it can be said the same of adults. Another thing, you do not want to lose your your hope, your your grounding. Um, getting some some material that can give you guidance and some assurance as you're going through through these disasters can be incredible. But remember, we talked about that um, pencil. Make sure you get some type of multifunctioning tool. This is, is not only a knife, but it's also a can opener and a file. Um, and also, I think there's some scissors in here. Another thing that, that's here is actually a pliers, a pair of pliers. You're not, you can't go, you won't go too wrong with something like this. This can get a lot, lot of things done for you. And once again, it can help whittle, whittle that pencil down so you can be able to use it um, with no problem. Another thing as we, talk, as we talked about the pencil is make sure that you have um, a notebook. Because you're going, you're going to need to possibly write information down for individuals. And not only that, but maybe you'll have the opportunity to do some journaling. Day one, day of, of the disaster, day two, you know, put, put, some, put some thought to paper. That can go a long ways. Um, you know, like Robinson Crusoe or something like that. What is that thing called that holds dead batteries? It's called a flashlight. Make sure that you have some functioning batteries in your flashlight. And the beautiful thing about it being so small is it can fit in your hygiene-ish kit with no problem. Remember I was talking about bulk items, socks. You don't want to get mountain man socks. Um, if you don't have to, you're going to need your medicine. If you take medicine, that is. But do you need this big container? Not necessarily. What you can very well do is you can very well get 
a smaller container and put your medicine in a smaller container. And you want to make sure that you check on that every so often. Make sure that the expiration date hasn't passed because there's nothing like taking medicine that's not that that's already expired. You can get most certainly you can get things in your eyes. Make sure that you get some eye drops because you don't want to be having dirty hands rubbing your eyes because you can get all kinds of infection. That won't be a good thing. Another thing, speaking of dirty hands, make sure that you have some hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer can go a long ways because you may not have the water available that you thought. So, hand sanitizer. Try that. Another thing, repellent. You're going to have enough to deal with. Your hands are going to be into all different types of things. Don't, 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 um have to worry about the bugs get some strong repellent don't be getting oh this is 100 percent clover clover leaf you know get get something that works you know you don't have to guess get something that works real deal stuff um another thing it sounds kind of weird but get yourself something that can sustain you Get yourself something that can take care of you for a little bit. Take care of your belly a little bit. Um, these can these um, these sunflower seeds are pretty good. Added to that, get yourself something, an energy bar, or something, something that has um, sustain gives you sustained energy. Get your toothbrush. Get your toothpaste. One thing that one thing that you probably want to do too is if you if you have a toothbrush, toothpaste, especially for the tooth toothbrush. You want to have a plastic bag because you do not want you do not want sock fibers to be getting in on your toothbrush. And most certainly, um, you most certainly don't want your toothbrush to be rubbing up against your soap. So protect your toothbrush and also protect your soap. And you see this toothpaste right here? This is a small container. Why do you have a small container? Because remember, you're not going for two months, two years. You're going for no more than two weeks. Another thing, your, tooth, your, your soap. Make sure that you have a bag for your soap. Let me think of something else. Here you go. The good thing about this cloth is that it can fit in with no problem, number one. And number two, it can also dry pretty quickly now after you do all the washing and everything like that please my brother have your deodorant now ladies if you're putting your man's disaster kit together have him smelling right put something in there so he'll be right because because sometimes he may <laughs> sometimes he may forget this Hopefully, as he's walking out, as he's walking away, you can just spray this in the air and he can walk through this and that can help with some stuff. Um, anyway, my stab at humor. All right. With all that being said, that's what we have for this disaster kit. Um, put it in some place that you can have quick access. Not necessarily do you want to put everything in here um, in, a, in a warm vehicle. Um, but most of the most of the items I would say outside of the outside of the candy bar that's really not not going to make it. I'm sorry. Um, pretty much everything can be can be put in a car, um, or or at least put in a refer uh, put in a put in some place in your house that it can be maintained for a long period of time. And the good thing about this is you can put things on top of this and they're not going to compromise. They're not going to compromise things too much. If you want to do something for other groups of individuals, let's say your church or your, your organization wants to volunteer, wants to help out, then instead of, if you guys have a, a very good budget, if you guys have, if you guys have a bunch of money, then fine, go on and use something like this. But if you don't, you can always use something like this. 
Don't be going for the junk items. Put some decent items in that can really help somebody who's going through it. And last thing I want to tell you, post your post what you put in your um, disaster kit. Maybe the information that you put out, maybe something that we can add to our hygiene ish kit or maybe something that somebody else can benefit from. Well, that's all we got for now. This is D and less stressful life. That's what's up. Peace.